Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you an absolute classic Spanish dish, paella. So you Brits are thinking, what, is that like paella? Uh, <laughs> and it is, but you know, I'm in Spain so we have to pronounce it properly. And if you ever come to Madrid and try and ask for paella in a bar or restaurant, they'll look at you like you just ordered a grilled stoat and they won't understand you, so be warned. Anyway, uh, the dish was invented apparently in Valencia and they are very, very protective about what goes in it. This isn't entirely authentic. Uh, this, is, this is a Madrid paella mixture, so it's got seafood and chicken in it. But what it hasn't got is chorizo. If you put chorizo in your paella, or paella, the paella police will come and chop your fingers off. Okay? So don't do that. Do this. Ingredients. First of all, we need to make a thing called a sofrito, which is a combination of a medium onion, three tomatoes, four cloves of garlic. And then we've got our protein, which is an assortment of seafood that weighs in total 800 grams. We've got mussels, saltwater clams, big prawns, langoustines, and squid. And then we've got meat, which this is 200 grams of chicken, chicken leg actually, I've left the skin on. Rabbit is also very, very common. And we've got a red bell pepper, 800 mils of chicken stock, and a pinch of saffron, teaspoon of smoked paprika and for garnish we've got a lemon and a teaspoon of parsley and you might have spotted the most important ingredient which I've forgotten to get <laughs> the rice okay this is the rice it's uh, there's 400 grams this is bomba rice which is uh, grown in Valencia and that's the proper stuff it's 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 a medium grain it's not long it's not short alternative would be something like arborio don't try it with long grain rice it won't work. So I'm just going to prep the mussels which basically means get their beards off and all this seafood by the way you get in a kit ready-made from the supermarkets. So to de-beard de a mussel you just pull it towards the the pointy end snap it off. If it doesn't snap off you can use scissors or a knife. Any that are broken or you know dodgy looking don't use them throw them away. We're going to start making the sofrito, so we need to finely chop the onion. And finely chop or mince the garlic. So to cook the paella, I've got a special pan called a paellera which I still can't say after eight years in Spain. If you haven't got one of these, you can use a large frying pan. So I've got this on medium heat and a good glug of olive oil in there. And we'll throw in the onion and the garlic. And we just let this cook for about five minutes. Uh, you don't want any browning, you just want the onion and garlic to soften. So while the onions and garlic are sizzling away, we need to deal with the tomato by cutting one end off and grating it so we get the pulp and the skin is left over and we throw that away. Add the tomato pulp and just stir it all together. I'm trying to keep everything in the centre because the pan is so much bigger than the ring that it's sitting on. And actually I think I'm going to put this second ring on, that's this one. And so it'll spread the heat between the two rings. Of course, traditionally you'd be doing this in a big open fire, but we haven't got one. <laughs> so while the sofrito is cooking down, I'm just gonna brown off the chicken because it's got its skin on and it'll go flabby otherwise. Okay, that's, um, that'll do for that. Don't wanna cook it through just yet, just to brown the outside. The sofritos thickened up a bit. Um, sorry to say those tomatoes were a bit rubbish. I mean, not very colourful. 
Uh, now we add the rice. I've rinsed this in cold water and we'll just curl it all in and mix it thoroughly with the sofrito and spread it out in a thin layer. Now we add the paprika and saffron to the chicken stock and pour it in. And now we add all the proteins, our chicken or rabbit if that's what you're using. And we just place them artistically around the edge. We will not be stirring this at all while it cooks. So try to get a, a pleasing looking arrangement of things. The little clam things or cockles. They, these, I, I don't know why we bother with these actually, because they've, they've got a bit of stuff inside that's a bit like the size of a pea and doesn't taste it very much. But it's traditional. Make sure the shells are not broken like that. And then we pop in the squid and the prawns. I've taken their whiskers off because they're just pointless <laughs> and they irritate me. And the mussels. And finally the red pepper. I've cut this cut it into strips. In fact this is only half of that red pepper that um, I showed you at the start. And you'll notice that I've got the I've got the paella spanning two rings, so there's a small one and a big one. And what we'll do every every few minutes is is just ouch rotate it about ten degrees so it cooks evenly. And now this needs to cook for twenty five minutes. So we're about halfway through cooking and it's looking good. Some of the mussels have opened. And I think I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit because it's it's bubbling a bit too ferociously. The trick with this is to get the moisture absorbed by the rice at exactly the point when the rice is cooked. So if you do find you've run out of liquid before the end of cooking time, add a bit more. Okay, time's up and I'm just going to try a bit of rice. That's cooked. Oh, mm. <laughs> so now we cover this tightly in foil. I've turned the heat up to maximum for two minutes because what we want to do is basically scorch the bottom of the rice. This is called sakurat. It's highly prized. It's much like the tadig of Iranian rice or Persian rice and people fight to the death to get some of it. So now we have to let it rest for 10 minutes. Yeah, really. And there it is. Amazing paella. 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 And we just sprinkle the parsley on the top and place bits of lemon around the edges. So where's my digger? Here's my digger. Ah, and it's all about the rice. <laughs> it really is. All this other stuff is just decoration. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That is not a bad paella, even if it is made by a Brit. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching. Come back soon.